Well, I'm back again with another review, and this time I'm reviewing Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class uh, Jeep Bumblebee. Now, I know this thing is called Off-Road Bumblebee, but I prefer Jeep Bumblebee since I think that should have been a better name for him. But as you can see, here he is in his officially licensed uh, Willy's Jeep um, mode. Uh, officially licensed by Jeep, uh, obviously. And as you can see, I really um, like this um, Jeep mode since I do love these um, Willy's Jeeps in reality. And as you can see, real nice detail on the front grille here with some clear um, headlights here. They're not painted. All painted uh, in yellow, as you can see, with um, black tires and, uh, and yellow painted uh, pins here, which they should have been black instead of yellow. But I get understand. I understand why. He does have seats here and a little steering wheel that uh, moves around, but that's due to the transformation. This does move down as a real Willy Jeep uh, does in reality, which I don't understand why it does that, uh, to be totally honest. He does have a spare tire and a gas can here, and not really much. I mean, he's just a yellow Jeep with a black um, grill here, or bull bar, I should say, you know, those things. But overall, he's just a yellow Jeep. Um, here's the top. Not much. Here's the bottom. Just a lot of stuff. And he does roll really, really good. And he is pretty small. I mean, he's the size of my hand. Like, seriously. Wow. Well, really small guy. Now for accessories, um, he just only comes with one, and that's his Stinger Blaster. And it stores under here uh, with two little tabs. Which I shall unpeg this right now. It taps in by these two little tabs on these two little slots here and here underneath his legs. Overall, um, real nice little stinger blaster. I mean, he did use this in the movie, which um, obviously he used to destroy um, you know who. So. It's a small little single blaster, but we'll show this off in robot mode later on. Which, speaking of robot mode, let's get to it right now. So, to transform this guy, which I'll show off right now. First, we'll untab his arms, which uh, tab under here, which I should have untabbed them from the side and lift them. Rotate them forward, not the um, arms on the bowl joint. The arms on the swivel joint right there, which should be facing down like that. Untab the sides here, which should untab, untab pretty easily. Pull them out to the sides, and mine is pretty tight. Untab the legs. The first, pull down the seats. Fold down the steering wheel and fold this. Oh, well, fold that up and then fold the steering wheel up, I should say. And then untab the legs, which are pretty much uh, tabbed in together. Fold the steering wheel down and fold the gas canister down. We'll deal with the legs uh, in a bit. And then fold this all the way in until it's like that. After that, then you gotta untap the feet that are on the side of his legs. Fold down the feet, rotate this around, and then, oh, what to do? Fold this all the way around, all the way around until you must get a foot. Must fill that in, fold this down, and you basically got a leg all done. So, same thing on the other side. Um, untab that, fold that down, rotate this around, fold this 
up and then fold this in to fill in the leg. Fold this down. And basically you got his legs all done. Which, that was pretty simple. Not hard. Now time for this. For first fold that up. Fold these out and then fold this out. Unfold these. These will become his arms, but they are they are tabbed in. They're pretty good from the hood. So unfold that. Fold these out to the side. And they should. Well, first we gotta fold out with his head, which it's basically stuck in there. Fold this head, fold that down, fold this all the way down. These will then tab in with the hood here. If anyone can see that, and this I, is the one I don't like doing the most because you gotta line it up and it's pretty good. And They must slot in there. Yeah, that's the one I don't like doing the most. But once you got it sort of in there, then you take the chest here, fold this out, fold this out, fold this in, fold that in, and then. It must push in, but you're supposed to push in the ch the hood here on the back and Peggy Sim, which sadly I can't seem to do that on my, my copy. But once you got everything situated and everything uh, put um, you tabbed in and stuff, can't talk. There you have Jeep Bumblebee in his robot mode or off-road Bumblebee. And I think this is by far my favorite Bumblebee in the City Series line. Although this is from the Bumblebee movie. As he appeared in the beginning of the movie when he landed on Earth for the first time. And well, it, uh, met up with Jack Burns. And this is the very first vehicle that he scanned. Uh, this is by far my favorite uh, Bumblebee in the Secret Series line. Uh, let's get a closer look at him. As you can see, really nice painted silver on his face with some blue on his eyes. Red uh, for the Autobot logo there on his forehead. So let's face him forward. All yellow with some black uh, painted all over him and some gray. And not much um, paint on him, but some nice detail all over him. Here's the back of him. And yeah, that's about it for his um, robot mode and for his detail. And we can't put his Stinger Blaster on, which it can only go on his right arm. It can't go on his left. So, put this up. Push it all the way down. And there you got a Stinger Blaster. Um... So, you know, he can start shooting, which obviously, you know, you can start shooting some of the Decepticons on Earth, but overall, really nice figure, enough for articulation, his head can go left and right, can't look down, but can look all the way up because of this extra hinge, for, that's for transformation. Hmm. His arms can sort of go um, all the way 360 degrees, but due to the wheel here, can go in and out. Ben at the elbow does have um, a wrist, an arm swivel here. Does not have wrist swivels because his um, hands are molded in. Legs can kick back and not all the way um, back. Can bend at the knee, 
does have a sole here on the ball joint on the top of his leg and his legs can uh, does have ankle pivot forward and back side to side can obviously um, turn all the way around due to transformation but yeah not much on this Jeep Bumblebee or off-road Bumblebee whichever you like to call them but overall that's about it for Jeep Bumblebee so hopefully um, you guys like this review and I'll review more when I can until next time